Chloe, Chloe Meyer. Okay? She's an eighth grader at Blessed Sacrament, and she is a Kentucky Youth Storyteller Torchbearer. Is that right? And she has won awards for her telling of Julius, the baby of the world. So we're going to invite her up here to start us off, and I hope everybody enjoys themselves this evening. Baby of the World by Kevin Henkes reminds us that even though we might not know it, deep down in our hearts, deep, deep down in our hearts, we love our families. So today, I'm going to tell you a story about a couple of mice. Before Julius was born, Lily was the best big sister in the world. She gave him things, she told him secrets, no love. and she sang him lullabies every night. But after Julius was born, it was a different story. Lily took her things back. She pinched his tail, and she yelled insulting comments into his crib. I am the queen, said Lily, and I hate Julius. But her parents loved him. They kissed his wet pink nose, they admired his small black eyes, and they stroked his sweet white fur. But Lily thought his wet pink nose was slimy, and his small black eyes were big, and his sweet white fur was not so sweet, especially when he needed his diaper changed. Julius is the baby of the world, chimed Lily's parents. Disgusting, said Lily. Lily had to share her room with Julius. When Julius goes away, do I get my room back? Lily asked. Julius isn't going anywhere, said Lily's mother. And he did. He stayed and stayed and stayed. Lily was supposed to be very quiet while Julius was sleeping. When Julius goes away, do I get to talk like a normal person again? She yelled. Shh, said Lily's father. Julius isn't going anywhere. And he did. He stayed and stayed and stayed. We love you, Julius. You're beautiful, Julius. We want Julius to grow up to be as extraordinary as you, said Lily's mother. So we must constantly tell him how beautiful he is and how much we love him. But when no one was looking, Lily had her own idea. I hate you. You're ugly. <laughs> A, B, C, D, E, F, G, one, two, three, four, five. We want Julius to grow up to be as clever as you, said Lily's father. So we must sing him his numbers and letters whenever possible. But when no one was looking, Lily had her own idea. A, J, K, P, C, H, two. <laughs> Lily's parents were more than a bit doubtful about leaving the two of them alone together. Lily tried to frighten Julius with her nifty disguises. And when she learned magic, she tried to make him disappear. But when that didn't work, she just pretended you didn't exist. Baby? <laughs> what baby? I didn't hear anything. Lily spent more time than usual in the uncooperative chair. <laughs> Lily's parents were amazed when Julius blew bubbles. They were dazzled when he babbled and gargled, and they were amused when he screamed. One morning, while Lily was busy playing opera, her mother asked, Lily, why don't you put some of that vocal exuberance to good use? Why don't you tell Julius a nice story? He's too little to understand a story. He can understand in his own way. Okay. Julius, the germ of the world. Bye. Once upon a time, there was a baby. His name was Julius. Julius was a real germ. He's like dust under your bed. If he was a number, he'd be zero. If he was a food, he'd be raisin. Zero is nothing. A raisin tastes like germ. The end. The story earned her 15 minutes in the uncooperative chair. When Lily's mother felt up to it, she threw a festive celebration in honor of Julius. All the relatives came. It was quite a spread. What's the big deal? Haven't they ever seen a silly lump before? Apparently not. All afternoon, the relatives hovered over Julius. They kissed his wet pink nose, they admired his small black eyes, and they stroked his sweet white fur. OMG, like a turtle and disgusting, said Cousin Garland. What? said Lily. Julius, his wet pink nose is like totally slimy, and his small black eyes are like totally baby. And his sweet white fur is not so sweet. Lily's eyes narrowed, her nose twitched, and her fur stood on end. Excuse me! You're talking about my little brother, and for your information, his nose is shiny. His eyes are sparkly, and his fur smells like perfume. Cousin Garland was speechless. He can blow bubbles. He can babble and gargle. 
and got in the room. Stop! said Lily. I am a queen! Watch me closely. Lily picked up Julius. She kissed his wet pink nose. She admired his small black eyes, and she stroked his sweet white fur. Your turn, said Lily, handing over Julius. Kiss, admire, stroke! Now, repeat after me. Julius is the baby of the world. Julius is the baby of the world. Louder! Julius is the baby of the world! And from then on, he was, in everyone's opinion, especially Lily's. <laughs>